Uh, oh no. Oh no, I'm fading away. I have huge news that uh, you almost certainly have no reason to care about. I finally heard back from an Apple developer regarding the lack of Bluetooth keyboard shortcuts documentation on, on iPhone. this developer said. I'd never posted on the developer forums before. They literally don't even show their names. Um, oh my god, Sim. Hello. I think you're my first Instagram live viewer ever. I can wave. Um, I don't know how to change... How many times can I wave? No. I, how do I change the fucking filter? Oh shit. Sorry, folks. Um, I am actually a responsible driver these days. Hello. 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 Good morning. This is the first time we've ever done this. I know, right? It's crazy. What are you doing? Why are you in the car on your phone? I'm driving to pick up the dog. On um, Instagram Live? Well, I was like, you know, I don't... I'm doing a battery test on my phone. Uh, That's fair. I'm trying to discharge it as fast as possible. Or it's like Streaming is definitely the best way to fucking drain your battery. Yeah, and I've never done Instagram. Well, I've done Instagram before, uh, but not since a lot of features have been introduced. I think it's... I literally do not know how to remove the background. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I joined and I was like, what the fuck? Uh, is that a I filter? Was, I mean, I don't know what like what the terminology is, of course. Did you make it? No. Oh. Uh, although I did share the Snapchat lens that I made with one of my friends on Twitter t today, uh, who was like, he tweeted like, "I can't wait until you can sideload like bogus apps onto Spectacles and you know fucking ruin your right." Uh, and I was just like, oh, I have the perfect opportunity to promote my lens. So you have a lens? That, so, well, okay. So Snapchat released their lens studio for Windows. Mm -hmm. So you can, uh, you can make one. So naturally, like my, the only reason I did it, I was like, I'm going to try to make like a lens that guarantees crashes the app. Um, or it's just like, just fucked, you know? And honestly, like, I think I was tired, and I just did not... Like, I got okay far. I, maybe I can share it. I don't know if I can... Yeah, uh, you... Uh, it should be... You had to make, like, a creator account on Snapchat or whatever, right? Or I was going to say, just, maybe I can share it right now, the video. Yeah. I guess that's... Now I sound like an old man thinking that I can share uh, a saved video on a live... Well, okay, so... But... It's fairly fucked up. Like, I just... Like, as many sounds as I could put in. Uh, but what's astonishing to me is, like... The... Uh, the uh, Notably, the Creator Studio from, from Snapchat is so much more robust than anything from uh, Facebook or Twitter, definitely. And, like... like or it, Apple. It, it, well, yeah, that too. It works well. And it was clearly designed from the beginning like a, accounting for people like me because uh 
it didn't put any limits on me or anything, but like the end file was actually very small, which is crazy. But yeah, you can, uh, I guess you, you can go on my public profile right now and download my lens. It's the preview image is very innocuous. Uh, it's like a, a, a young black man with his eyes closed. That was like the preview of preset. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. This is, okay. Me and Noel have been experimenting with uh, like lenses and filters and shit. Trying to use like 3D characters on the lens. It's so impossible with Apple. Apple yeah. like gates all the tech up. So we're running a VM with a uh, Mac OS right now, just to use Spark AR or whatever it's called. Oh, and, and uh, yeah. Are you running a, like there are services where you can buy a remote Mac OS machine or it's VMware but... or VirtualBox? VirtualBox, really? You got it to work on VirtualBox? Always, since day one. Well, that's cool. Is it like, does it crash? Mm -mm. Um, I used VirtualBox since I was a kid. Well, yeah, I mean, I just, I recently, like within like, three weeks ago, was like, man, I've been doing all this iOS shit. I really just need to have a virtual machine so I can run Xcode. Uh, and... Yep. It's so funny. I remember when people literally the only time they brought up Xcode was to make fun of it, and now it's like like legitimately like a commodity. Uh, well, yeah, it's just, like the only like good thing to make apps. Um. So I went like I spent an afternoon getting everything together, uh, and I I mean I got the machine to work, uh, which I was honestly surprised at how easy it is these days, but. Um, I mean, that's it. They have the same <laughs> like, thing just... as Windows, where you can just, like, create an ISO from an existing one. So we have, like, we were both yeah. too pussy to download a crack for Mac. Because, like, it's an operating system crack. You can do anything if they run that. And uh, so we just got our one friend who has a Mac to, like, yeah, send us his ISO, and it runs fine. You can actually download the full ISOs from Apple. Um, mm. That's mm. what I did. But, uh, so it's, I, I think I'm actually gonna have to put a real graphics card in my desktop because literally I, that was the reason I think that it would just freeze. I mean, it would, it would boot up the desktop, but then any sort of interaction, I couldn't even get to the settings menu, menu to disable the an animations. Really? Uh, but, uh, that's weird. I, so my mom, I, what I do is, like, my mom uses uh, an old MacBook Pro for work. It's held up immensely well for, a, for how old it is. I think it's 2014, this MacBook Pro from 2014. Um, and I have an account on that, and I, like, I steal it every once in a while. Um, and I'm, like, I'm sure that I could technically uh, remote into it at any time. But, um, God, I literally, I left, uh, her old, old iMac. That was going to be my Xcode machine. I left it in Kansas City literally years ago now. It's, uh, the dude that I was living with, I'm assuming that my, the room that I was in still has all of my shit. Go oh. get it. What are you? Just the decaying infrastructure of this country, you know. Um, I don't. Okay, so notably, because in like, I'm gonna say one more thing that I have to go because that's actually get the dog. Uh, the thing about Instagram Live is like, to me, it's literally only for people who have a significant presence on instagram like it's yeah. basically only for instagram celebrities um whereas like you know periscope was distinctly you were addicted to periscope not addicted i just it was um 
don't know. Like, I wish I had been addicted. I wish I'd used it more and not take it, take it for granted. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Just, I'm I remember assuming... you, just sit, you used to sit in your car. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess it was for a little while. Um, you would just sit in your car and read poetry and smoke cigarettes on Periscope. Yeah, or, like, make stupid jokes and drink for uh, after work, avoiding going home until, like, 3 in the morning. After the uh, gas station? Yeah. Fucking. Um, okay, I have, like, five minutes. Have you seen Safari as it's going to be in 15? No. It's... Wait, like in uh, in iOS 15 and and macOS. I haven't even looked at the macOS one, but I'm assuming it's just so they literally redesigned the the application entirely. The user experience moved everything. It was so good. Exactly. That's it. Was their only good software? Literally, and they didn't even add any like the actual core browser has nothing there's nothing technical added it's just they were just like let's come i mean literally i can't think of anything else it's like it's like they were like hey what could we just randomly fuck up for no reason sorry sorry yeah uh and i mean i've been saying this repeatedly i at this point i don't know what i'm gonna tell my mom she uses (laughs) She uses Mac OS and her iPhone every day, all day. Uh, Safari literally has looked the same for the entire history of the iPhone. Uh, yeah. And for what, 20 years? It's looked like the address bar being on the top. Is it not there? The address bar being a static element. Sit down, yeah. Mom. We have to talk. Safari's not the same anymore. Uh, I handed my phone to her with with Safari open, and I was like, "Mom, go to a web page." And she was like, "I can't." Um, I mean, that's basically like, okay, it's so one more thing. It's so fucking different that when I first opened it, I literally was like, my brain was like, "Oh, I opened the wrong app." <laughs> really? Like, I was like, "That's not." Yeah, I'm gonna have to download it. Holy fuck! Um, you know, I don't fucking know. I don't know what. I uh, these what's these... the new Mac OS called? Monterey. Mon. Oh. I mean, Mm -hmm. I just, out of all the things, it almost seems intentional. Literally, it almost almost seems like an intentionally, like, malicious. (laughs) It just looks tacky. It looks like a third-party browser that's, like, an indie app. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So there's this, uh, if you're really curious, there's this app called Cake, this old, this browser called Cake. Um, and they mm-hmm. were like, we're going to reimagine the way that you like navigate uh, around touch. And I mean, when I f- first opened this part, that's, uh, I've tried to bring this up. I don't think anyone else remembers it. I mean, I hated it. I wrote, like, I've kept it and like played around with it and thought about maybe writing something about it, but it like, I while I, I hated it, it was like genuinely original. Uh, it was an interesting idea. But it's one thing like if an app like that, you know, comes along. But not I mean so far like it's twenty twenty one, it's the browser. It's that is the foundation. This reminds me a lot of uh did you oh, I don't know. Anybody will remember this. There was a browser that existed for like two years called Rock Melt. If you ever heard of that? In like 2012, 2011. Was it Mac OS only? 
No, it was Windows. Uh, it was like I used it because it was basically like a Windows version of Safari. It's basically what Opera GX is now, where it's just everything's integrated. But the new Safari just looks like this browser because, like, on the sidebar, there was like your Facebook, IMs, and YouTube. Everything was all integrated on like a sidebar, and the tabs look weird like this. Man, this is weird. Yeah. Um. So I, I, I don't. Uh, Min is my. I mean, everything is, you know, Chrome on the PC now. But you know what's funny? I'm pretty sure. Having tried basically all the apps available, Opera is definitely the fastest browser on iOS right now. But then again, like in terms of just pure speed, but and Brave is the Brave best. Is fire. Brave is fire. Um, and Brave Search, which I've been trying, uh, actually works. And Pretty they did Bluetooth. Bing, it, what? Their search is their search is just being mirrored. It's the same as DuckDuckGo. And Ecosia, but and Ecosia. I mean, honestly, you know why I don't use Bing? I don't like the way it looks. So that's like literally that's the only reason I don't use it. Uh, Very fair. Okay, I gotta go get the dog now. But thank you, thank you, Alex. Uh, good luck with um, lenses, you man. I'll we'll have good luck with lenses. Uh, I mean, like, with your job. I work at McDonald's. 